Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I have more Christmas DIYs I wanted to show you. So, let's get started. So first, we're going to start off by using this box that I got from the Dollar Tree. We're going to be making um, some Christmas boxes. So first, like I said, we're going to start off with this box. Then the bottom flaps, I'm going to cut them off. So what I'm going to do is just bend them in to give it like a crease so I know where to cut. I'm going to take, you can take an exacto knife or a box cutter, whichever one you have. And you're just going to cut across the crease that you are made. And you're going to tear that off. Then you're going to do the other side. Then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put this underneath this one so I won't cut my table. I'm going to cut that off too. Do the same. It's easier to leave the box. Side to cut, that's how you need to see. So, so as I get everything cut, I'm going to take some chalk paint and I'm going to paint the rest of the whole box. Now, when I'm painting, I'm not painting to completely cover it, I want it to have more of a distressed look to it, so I'm not going to try to make it perfect. And it's okay if it's paint lines in it. I'm just going to go and paint it up and down. And I'm not doing it perfect. I'm just going to go up and down like that around the whole box. After your box dries, this is what it should look like. Now I'm going to take my sides and put them in. Now I'm going to glue the box down. So I'm going to push the side, um, leave the box in. And I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to put just a bunch of glue all right here. And all over on the other side. And I'm going to push it down. And you can flip it over. And you want to push it together so it will, it will stick to it. So then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Add a bunch of glue. Push it down. So the box is completely flat. Push it down. After you do that, you can flip it over. And you can add some glue in the inside. I just added some glue in the inside, just going up and down. Then I'm going to take 
some of this burlap ribbon that I got from Walmart. Is the Wyatt burlap ribbon. It is two and two and a half inches by 15 feet. And I got this buffalo check one. It is one inch by 12 feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ribbon. I'm going to lay it to the top. I'm going to glue that piece. And I'm gluing it. I'm going to show you where I'm gluing it at. Right in the middle. Where the lid, the top part of the box meet. And after I do that, I'm going to take and pull it. And I'm going to cut piece off you don't need a lot you don't have to cut a lot and that's what I did and I'm gonna put some glue on it and hide it in the inside of my box pull it and push it in the inside of the box and that's how it is and I'm gonna do the same to the other sides of the box so I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna do the same thing Add some glue. Bring it down. You want to cut it? Add some more glue. Pull it and tuck it in the inside. And that's the other side of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and finish going around. how it should look now this burlap ribbon from Walmart was um, what three dollars or four dollars but it's no different than buying a burlap from the Dollar Tree because you would have had to buy like four of them or five to get enough around well maybe two or three to get um, around the boxes depending on how many boxes you were making so I thought this wasn't bad and I still have some left over so next I'm going to take this ribbon I think this buffalo chuck ribbon was a dollar and 98 so two dollars I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to pretty much do the same thing that I did with the burlap ribbon to the buffalo chuck ribbon I'm going to add it in the middle pull it down and I'm going to cut and glue it in the inside and that's all I did and I'm going to do that all the way around so once you're done the top looks like that and those are the sides so now you can take this um, sanding block from the Dollar Tree Go around your box and actually distract the box some more. So now we're going to work on the top of the box. 
so I have I keep like leftover leaves and stuff greenery I buy from like Walmart the Dollar Tree these are from the Dollar Tree flowers um, greenery that came out like during the springtime last year the frosted ones I keep those and these are from AC Moore so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take these and glue them around the box to cover up where I put also covering up where I put the ribbon and what I like to do is I like to lay my stuff down before just gluing to get an idea of where I want it to be placed. So as I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Push it down. And then once it's down, you can go ahead and add more glue. So the next I'm going to take some of these little flowers and just stick them in here. I think I want that one right there. I'm going to take another one like that one and stick it in there. Then I'm going to take these last two and stick them somewhere in here. So it's up to what you like when you're gluing. Um, your leaves down and I'm just squeezing some glue on them so they can stay down so that's how it looks on the top so now hold up put a little bit more glue and this is a hot high temp glue gun so sometimes it takes it to dry take a little longer for it to dry so now I'm going to take some of these berries I got, you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be adding them on here where I want them. Put a little bit of glue on the bottom. I'm just pulling them right off the top of the, and then gluing them where I want them. So after you're done messing around with your berries, placing them where you want them. I'm going to take some of these pine cones I get from Dollar General. Four dollars. And they actually like, you can hang them like ornaments. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull the string off of them. And I'm going to place some more here to my liking. Don't have to be placed a no certain way. Just however you like it placed. I think I'm going to put that one right here. So, for the next DIY, I'm going to be making me a hot cocoa sign for my hot cocoa ball for the winter time. So, if you been on my channel for a while, you know I always like to use paint mixing sticks. So this is a pack and a half of paint mixing sticks. So you need two packs of paint mixing sticks to make this. They normally come three in a pack. And then I had another pack and I took one out. Then I got three pieces of scrap pieces of sticks I keep. Um, these don't have these are these sticks are 13 inches long. These don't have to be a certain size. They just have to touch all four sticks because I'm going to be gluing them onto the back. So I'm going to go ahead and use my um, ink chalk paint that I get from Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and paint, and, and paint the sticks front and back. And I'm going to just paint the front of these because I'm going to be gluing the upper back part down. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting.
my sticks are dry, I'm gonna um, take and glue them together. Um, I'm gonna flip them over to the back with where I still can see some of the numbers from the because these all paint mixing sticks. So I'm gonna flip these over, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Not too much. And I'm going to glue these together. And I'm going to do that with the other two. So after you've done gluing them together, we're going to take them other sticks and we're going to start, we're going to glue them down. Put two on the end and one in the middle. You want to put a lot of glue. And make sure the sticks is touching, this stick is touching all four sticks. I'm just going to push it down. And I'm going to do the same to the other one. And then the last one in the middle. So now you know I distress everything, so I'm going to take and do the sides of my sign. And then I think I'm going to go, I'm going to try to get in between. I can't get in between like I want, so I don't know. Go ahead and just stretch like that. See this, I did the sides and the top. So now I'm going to take a wet um, paper towel or you can do a rag and I'm going to wet the stress different parts of my sign. 